In this video, I will guide you through the steps to automatically blur backgrounds in Photoshop and show you how to use this feature to create visually appealing images. To follow along with me, you can download a sample photo from the links in the description and this will be the image we work on this tutorial. Once you have the photo, open in Photoshop, create a copy of the background layer. You need to right click on it and select the duplicate layer. This will create a new layer identical to the original background layer which you can then edit without affecting the original image. Then go to filter menu and select neural filters. This will open up a panel where you can access a variety of filters that are powered by artificial intelligence. Scroll down and select depth blur. This option uses neural filter to apply a blur effect to the background and making the subject in the foreground stand out more clearly. It's important to note that the latest versions of Photoshop blur feature processed on device it is no longer processing in the cloud which making it much faster to use. While applying the depth blur filter make sure the focus subject option is selected. This will help ensure that the subject in the photo is in focus and that the outline around the subject looks perfect. If you try to apply the filter without focus subject the result may not look as good. The face may still be in focus but the outline around the subject may not be as well refined. To make the entire subject in focus and ensure that the edges are refined, it's recommended to select the focus subject option. When you select the focus subject, you will see that the edges of the subject become much more refined and the overall look of the photo is improved. Next, we will adjust the blur strength all the way to the right hand side. While doing this, you may notice some errors such as halos around the certain areas. However, don't worry as we will be fixing these issues later on with a special blending trick. So stay tuned till the end. I will show you special blending trick. It's important to note that the depth blur feature in Photoshop is highly intelligent. You can see that the background far away is more blurred whereas the grass nearby is less blurred. This is because the algorithm automatically adjusts the blur strength based on the distance of the objects from the camera. Similarly, the foreground objects that should be out of focus are blurred appropriately maintaining the focal plane in focus. Next, in order to match the background blur with the subject, we need to deal with the noise in the image. As you can see, there is a lot of noise in the subject, but the background is blurred, making the noise less noticeable. To resolve this issue, we can use the grain slider located below the depth blur options. By taking the grain slider all the way to the right hand side, we can match the background blur with the subject's noise. This helps to compensate for the loss of noise during the blurring process. However, there is currently no slider for color noise in the Photoshop depth blur feature. So the color noise on the subject will still be noticeable compared to the blurred background. After applying the depth blur effect, you can also choose to change the tint of an image to create a unique mood and tone. This can be done by using the tint options in the filter. You can adjust the tint to be more magenta, green or any other color of your choice. This feature is useful in creating a desired mood or atmosphere in the image. Tint creates visually appealing images by separating the subject from the background which can greatly improve the overall look of the image. Whether you want to use a specific tint for creative purposes or simply to correct the color balance in an image, this feature provides you with the flexibility to experiment and find the perfect look for your image. Despite the advanced technology behind the depth blur feature in Photoshop, there are still some limitations and limitations that can result in halos around certain areas in the image such as the head or highlights. Unfortunately, as of now, there is no way to manually adjust the mask or tweak which areas are blurred and which areas are in focus within the model. This makes it difficult to correct any errors or fix imperfections in the blur effect. But one work around is to output the image as a the map and then edit in Photoshop. But this is a more advanced and time consuming process. It would be ideal if there was a more user friendly option within the model to easily control the focus and blur of specific areas. This is currently a major drawback of the blur depth blur feature in Photoshop. 
Lastly, after you have made the desired adjustments to the blur effect, you can choose how you want the result to be outputted. You can choose to output the result as a smart filter. This option applies the blur effect as a non-destructive filter, which means you can adjust or remove the effect later on without affecting the original image. Simply choose the option that works best for your needs, then hit OK to complete the process. Output looking good, except the halos. Make a copy of the background layer by right clicking on it and selecting duplicate layer. After duplicating the background layer, move it to the top of the layer stack by dragging and dropping it to the top of the layers panel. Use the rectangle marquee tool to select the areas that are affected by halos. This tool allows you to make a rectangular selection around the problem areas. With the areas selected, go to the layer panel and click on the add layer mask button at the bottom of the panel. This will create a layer mask that will be used to hide the halos. Now go to image, apply image and click the invert option to balance the highlights and ensure that the other settings are left as they are. Then click OK. Finally select a soft brush and change the blending mode to overlay. Then use the brush to paint over the outer edge of the hair to remove the halos. It is very important to use the black as foreground color and use a soft brush and the overlay blending mode to avoid creating new halos or affecting the surrounding areas of the image. By following these steps you can achieve a professional look and effectively remove any distracting halos that may be present in your image. This simple trick will help you improve the overall quality of your images and make them look their best. Finally, to complete the process, we will add a little bit of haze to the background to create some atmospheric effects. This is easily done by double clicking on the smart filter. Neural filters are loading. We have to wait a little bit. And adjusting the haze settings to your preference. With just a few simple steps, we can change the tone and mode of the photo. It's up to you to add any global adjustments to make the final photo look even more amazing. But in this case, it looks good to me. But feel free to make any changes that suits your taste. To see the transformation, let's take a look at the before and after. Here is before and here is the after. This is an efficient and time-saving way of creating shallow depth of field look which is particularly useful in portrait photography. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you like the tutorial, please don't forget to give it a like, share and comment. To stay updated on future tutorials, please subscribe to our channel. Make sure to hit the bell icon to receive notifications of new videos. That way, you will never miss an opportunity to learn something new and improve your skills. Thank you again for watching and I hope you have a great day. Take care.